Hey church, it's Mark at the Crossing, and what a crazy world we live in. I could never have imagined such a situation. These are unprecedented times, and man, do I wish we had a manual to tell us what to do. I want to take a few moments to share with you our plan for moving forward uh, with regard to in-person gatherings here at the crossing. Please know we are mo uh, monitoring every announcement, all the orders, all the regulations on a daily basis in order to keep track of this COVID situation. We want you to know that everyone's health is a top priority for us, and we want to provide a place where folks searching for Jesus uh, can feel welcome and safe at the same time. And so as, right, as of right now, after much prayer and discussion and making plans and changing plans and maybe a time or two, our leadership team and our church staff here at the Crossing have decided that we are not going to be opening our facilities uh, for either Sunday large gatherings or for uh, midweek smaller group huddles through the month of June. Now, this decision uh, is based upon our state's restrictions and could be updated as those restrictions are modified. So uh, please stay tuned for any updates we may be broadcasting out there uh, for you. Now, I know that this announcement is going to disappoint many of you and honestly, several of you will be relieved. But we think this is the wisest decision for everyone uh, involved at the crossing right now. Here's why. First, as we plan for in-person gatherings, uh, we want to prioritize safety before speed. And therefore, we're going to be a little bit more patient and we're going to li linger a little bit longer than maybe some churches in the area uh, might choose to do so. A second reason uh, for delaying uh, is simply this. We are a family who love each other and are committed to caring uh, for one another. And we want to be committed to actually caring, doing what is best for everybody involved. Uh, we could meet, but with all the restrictions that are in place, um, we feel that it would keep us from doing what we do best and it would keep us actually from being who we really are as a church family. As of right now, uh, in order to meet, we would have to require everyone keep a distance of at least six feet. Uh, everyone would have to be wearing a mask and no handshaking and no hugs and no lingering and no con uh, congregating and no kids ministry. Ugh. The things we look so look forward to every weekend and you know every week are the things we, we wouldn't be able to do. When we do gather, we want to do it well. And honestly, with all the restrictions in place, uh, it would make for a less than welcoming experience, we think. And, and so we are going to wait patiently for a time uh, when the quality of an in-person experience would be able to surpass what we're capable of accomplishing online. We also want to have unity as a church. When we meet in person, we want to be able to welcome everyone together. That's really important to us. And we do not want to create a situation where we would have to turn anyone away for any reason. So as we patiently wait um, for the right time, I want you to remember, okay, the church is not closed. <laughs> uh, our facility is uh, but ministry continues. You cannot shut down the kingdom of Jesus. Amen? I heard you. And yeah, I, you know, this time of quarantine uh, seems so discouraging. However, I want you to know that the Lord has used this season to reach a whole lot of people that we weren't reaching before, and for that, I want to say hallelujah, hallelujah. 
I do appreciate President Trump's announcement Friday that proclaimed boldly that churches are essential and are to be open. And I love how he said, right now especially, our country needs more prayer, not less prayer. Amen? I heard you again. But, uh, and our governor has deemed churches to be open, but only to a 30% uh, capacity. That is not ideal for our church right now. So we're going to wait a little bit longer. So in the meantime, I would like to encourage you to do um, a few next steps. Uh, first, uh, please make sure you are staying connected online, whether it be through email, you know, our e-blast, our website, our new church app, our YouTube channel, uh, Facebook, Instagram. Make sure you're following us and getting notifications and, you know, staying in tune, uh, in tune electronically. Number two, uh, expect an increase of communication and encouragement and ministry opportunities online. We're going to ramp it up in June since we know that we're probably not going to meet uh, for the month. So, um, we're going to ramp that up. Expect that. Uh, number three, uh, I would like to, to uh, challenge each of you to call at least one person every day, a different person every day, simply to check in on them. Uh, see how you could pray for them. See if there's any way you could serve them. Just one person, different person every day. That would be such a great in encouragement for you and for them. Uh, I, maybe even to take the challenge a little further, what if you committed to texting at least four people every day, whoever the Lord brings to your mind, uh, just text them, uh, tell them that you miss them and you've been thinking about them and, and you want to pray for them. Anything specific you could pray for, that would mean a lot and has meant a lot in my communication uh, with some people uh, this past uh, couple months. You might want to consider, and I would love for you to do this, um, would you consider forming a small group huddle where you might just meet um, in somebody's home on Zoom um, uh, with somebody and just work through the four before that is available and connects to every, you know, our sermon series this month. Uh, you can find that on our new app. Uh, you can find it on our website. Um, get together, kind of form your own small group and do the huddle together. It, it, it's so enc encouraging. Listen, pastoral uh, uh, visits are available by appointment only. If you would like a pastoral visit from one of our leadership team members or maybe one of our church staff members with regard to prayer or counseling or life coaching or encouragement, uh, please contact us, the crossing at thecrossingde.com. Um, and somebody will get with you as soon as possible. We would love to meet with you, to encourage you, and to pray with you. Uh, a great setup would be we could meet you here at the crossing in the prayer room for a great time of prayer and, uh, and just interaction together. So if you would like to do that, reach out to us. We would, we would love to do that. I love Romans 12, 12 in times like these. It's, it's simple. Uh, Paul writes, be joyful in hope. Be patient in affliction or suffering and faithful in prayer. We love you, church. Really, we can't wait to be together, but we want it to be the right time. In the meantime, be healthy, be strong, be faithful, and full of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. Until next time. See ya.